Scorpio, hi. Uh, this is going to be a reading for September 23rd through the 29th. And uh, we'll be taking a look into your current energies, your, uh, no, your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. That's what I wanted to say. And I'll be pulling a final tip from the universe card for you at the end of the reading. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate with all of you. And it's fine if they don't, you know. Um, but if they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box. There's a link down there. Go nuts with it. And uh, let's see. Let's see what's happening for you. You are starting to kick it in the right direction. Let's see. The overall energy for the week, two people coming together here. <sighs> and I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, for your recent past, you get the Queen of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like after a little bit of a struggle here, you kind of... Um, this is... This is you right here. I'm only seeing you. It could be the other person too, but I'm only seeing you as uh, standing in your power, feeling feeling passionate, feeling like, you know what? I know what I can and I can't uh, offer. So uh, after establishing that, I feel like your um, stability here within yourself uh, started to settle, started to grow pretty much, and you felt really really good being on your own once you establish that um, you know that there are things that you can and things that you can't offer recognizing that made you feel good for your current energies I see the two of swords the lovers and the six of wands I see you being very very confused about this connection here that's uh, you feel it very strongly it's a very strong soul connection and you're also feeling really proud of this connection but at the same time you don't know what to do about it you're um, what the hell do where the hell am I going next you know should I go back into this connection or should I go around it you're very much confused about it in your immediate future you get the Hierophant the Fool and the Magician Wow a lot of major arcana here, a lot of universal support, you know, the universe is helping you out here in your immediate future. The Hierophant could be talking about a very stable commitment, could be talking about marriage, could also be talking about divorce, so we'll see what that is. The Fool card, though, is somebody that's willing to take a chance here, you know, and with the Magician here, I'm kind of getting that you're going to be able to manifest pretty much anything you want. We'll see when we clarify. So, let's do that. Let's do the Two of Cups here in the overall energy. Whew. Scorpio, you're just not giving up here. You're like, I think I told you this a million times already. You know, where you show up with your cups of love here, kind of like thinking, yeah, I'm going to go in and this person can't not say, you know, no to me because there's too much love here. And there you go doing it again. You know, you're showing up here, getting on your white horse and being like, you know what? Here, in your face, love. What are you going to say to that? And I don't know what they're going to say, so let's see. Um, yeah, so you, you're going towards this person oh, again with your love. Uh, let's see the Queen of Wands there in your recent past. Yeah, 
Yeah, this this connection actually pushed you a lot into working here on yourself, you know. This connection uh, made you look in the past, look where you went wrong, uh, admitting that and accepting that and moving on from that. I feel like it helped you figure things out, things from the past. Not in a major, major, major way, but it actually pointed you into the right direction here. You know, whatever happened in this connection turned you straight where you needed to go. Let me see this Two of Pentacles in your recent past. Yeah, this person uh, made you happy. This person provided stability for you, whoever this was, your partner here in crime. Um, I feel like there were things you needed to tell to this person and you didn't. That's what, you know, that's what the juggling here is. It's like, should I... Should I tell them what I really think or should I not? And I feel like you were struggling a little bit if you should speak your mind here. And I don't know if you did or didn't, but you went through a little bit of a struggle, you know, in regards to you being completely open to this person. Um... Let's do the Nine of Pentacles here. It's kind of looking like you left or someone left here. Someone became single here. Somebody left a situation that actually brought them happiness, but uh, somebody left. Somebody put that behind them, that, that happiness. You know? Let me see the Two of Swords in your current situation. <clears throat> Let's see why you're so confused. Oh, you feel like your person has options. You you feel like your person is looking at other options. So Hmm. Yeah, you feel like they're slowly but surely going in another direction here. That's what's up with this confusion. Uh I the two of the two of swords gets the seven of cups, the queen of cups, and the knight of pentacles. So you feel like your person is pulling away from you because they have other options, and that creates a lot of, uh, you know, mind, um, mind, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mental activity, <laughs> mind. That creates a lot of mind. All right, let's uh, let's do the lovers. Let's see what's up with the lovers. There's a lot of walking away here. There's a lot of uh, things being put behind in regards to this connection because there's deceit, there's lies, there's or that's what you think at least, and uh, there's conflict in this connection. So you're you're possibly walking away from it. You or your partner, it could be either one of you. Let me see this Hierophant in the immediate future. So what's coming out here? Whoever is still waiting for things to happen in this connection, right? Uh, Somebody's waiting here for a brand new beginning to happen. Uh, whoever's doing that, you or your partner, is going to get their heart broken here. You know, it, it kind of feels like the waiting is in vain. And that's where the fool comes in, kind of like, move on, you know. But let's see, let's see. Maybe, maybe it's not, but the waiting part of it all is pretty heartbreaking for whoever's waiting. Could be the both of you that you're waiting for this to happen. And it's going to require some patience and strength because it's coming this waiting game. And usually that's how it is when you're waiting for the other person. Because you're, you're always wondering, oh, I wonder if they're going to text me now. Or I wonder if they're going to text me tomorrow. Or I wonder if they're going to text me tonight. 
You know, that's painful. That's painful to anybody. Because usually they don't text, so that's the painful part. I forgot to mention that. But, you know, you know that, so. Uh, let's see the full. <clears throat> Yeah, there is happiness for you out there. Uh, could be, could be that the two of you are coming back together, you know, but it could be someone else too. Uh, you're, you're coming together here with somebody. You're creating this happiness. What this tells me is that um, if you do take a leap of faith, you will find happiness. And it's kind of, it's kind of telling me take that leap of faith in a new direction. And that's when happiness will show up for you here, you know? Because this heartbreak is associated with all that I've done here for you in regards to this uh, lover's partnership. <clears throat> this is talking about new. So it's kind of leading me to, to, to feel, to think that this is about something new. And that happiness is out there for you. You only need to go for it, pretty much. Let me see the magician. <clears throat> yeah, you're still going to try to manifest this person back into your life here with the lovers coming out again. You're still thinking about this person. And you're, you're looking for fast results here. You're not only manifesting them, you're kind of forcing this to happen somehow, or trying to. But be cautious with that, because the more you force it, the more it's not going to happen. But that's what you're trying to do, from what I can see. And um, you will find stability here, but it may be in a single kind of position, not necessarily with this person, because I see this as being very forceful you know, kind of trying to make it happen really, really fast, like, okay, come on already, and that's telling me that maybe sometimes you're even uh, in that person's face, which, if there are some issues here in between the two of you, that's not really helping things, you know, kind of like telling that person, hey, remember me? Yeah, me, you know, things like that, it's not, it's not going to help the situation. You will find stability. But again, you have to find this all on your own, all on your own, before this can, can come back to your life, you know? So, let me pull up a final tip from the universe card for you. <clears throat> Yeah, all you need to do for now, and I feel like you're doing it, focus on yourself, fo focus on your work. I know it's hard. I know it's hard not focusing on them and, you know, shifting your focus into onto yourself here. You know, this is what I'm getting with this card. It's all about you, and you need to learn how to work on yourself and work on whatever gives you strength, happiness, things like that. You know, not rely on somebody else giving you that happiness. First create it for yourself, and then, yeah, it'll attract others. So, this is what I have for you. Uh, again, for the extended, down in the uh, description box to see where your partner is at in regards to you. So, I'll see you next time. Bye.